In your sketchbook, I've given you a little schematic about um, some rough ideas of average body proportion. There's probably no such thing as an average person, um, but this is a, a rough idea of how to, how to uh, divide up the body. Children, of course, are differently proportioned because they need everything that's in their head um, and the eyes and nose and mouth and stuff are about the size they are. So the body, the, the face grows down and the body grows in proportion to the rest of the head as they're uh, getting older. So in your sketchbook, I'd like you to try uh, first um, an action pose with um, just using like uh, ovals. I begin with the, the pelvis, the and the thighs. torso and arms and the head going forward. So once you get your proportions so that they're um, this one go down. once you get your proportions so they're um, right, then you can uh, go in um, and add your your details. and you'll be able to um, do some erasing so that uh, you, you can take out some of the, the working lines and you add the, the muscles and things. So um, that would be in your sketchbook. Figure drawing is really uh, basic to art and uh, <clears throat> now that you have a little more uh, sophisticated knowledge of anatomy, that will help you. Um, you need to know how the bones are going to move when a position changes. And that's what uh, these, uh, these uh, little wooden mannequins are good for. You can pose them the way the bones would move. But it doesn't give you um, any information about the, um, the muscles and when they're gonna bunch up when you move one way or not, or where, where the different muscles are located. And you see the shading, that that's part of what helps show the muscles. I'm gonna show you a few examples here. <clears throat> Here's one, the shading, you see the, the light is coming from this direction. So um, the front, his front is in shadow. Get the shadow of the other leg. And you see the lighter shadows that show the muscles. This one is by uh, Michelangelo, who was uh, one of the famous Renaissance artists. He's uh, one of the few artists who was really recognized as a genius in his own lifetime. And when he lived, the Catholic Church was very much opposed to people um, dissecting uh, cadavers. But he would sneak in and bribe somebody so that he could do that because he wanted to see how the muscles moved and where the, where the bones moved when things were moving. And you can see that he has a, a keen knowledge of anatomy there. Another person who did that was uh, Leonardo da Vinci who lived at the same time, also a Renaissance artist. This is just uh, a face, but I like this drawing because you can see how he, um, how he began with the light uh, lines, and then he just has hatching here for where there's gonna be a shadow, but what he really concentrated on was um, the face there. I want to show you this one by uh, Daumier, who lived during the 1800s. This is titled, uh, Frightened at the First uh, Train Ride. This is a caricature or a cartoon, and uh, we're not going to be doing that now. Um, we need to get 
we need to get true proportions first and then you will know where you need to exaggerate things to make an effective cartoon and we'll talk about that another time. When we're doing this kind of drawing, <clears throat> you want to have, um, this is by Degas, you want to have three values. So you see this paper is uh, kind of gray and then he's added the shadows in the black and then he's added the highlights in the white. So that's what I would like you to do um, this time. Um, this is a larger drawing. It's on the large piece of manila paper, which I gave you in your sketchbook. I did my, uh, a couple of my grandchildren. And um, so they're, they have childlike proportion, which is different from adult proportion. They are in a, sort of an action pose and I have the dark shading. And then uh, if you can see, I've added some uh, highlights. I use a white pencil, you could use a white crayon, something like that. So on your large sheet of manila paper, I would like you to draw an actual person um, in an action pose. Um, if you can't get anybody to hold still for you, like these guys would not hold still, um, you may take a photograph or you may take a photograph of yourself and draw from that, okay? But three values, dark, medium, and light, and uh, try to get your uh, work on your proportion.